What's up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in LA at Soul Stage with multi platinum rapper Tyga. What's up, man? How you doing? Gonna do some sneaker shopping tonight. Gonna see what he's feeling, what he's not, and then hopefully he's gonna buy some sneakers. Let's see. Let's go. Tyga, a few years ago, pre-pandemic, we went to your house, we shot yeah. the sneaker collection in the closets, but what have you been buying recently? Oh, man. I probably got at least 50 pairs out of these. Really? So that's this why is, we... This is probably about, like, what, 175 pairs of shoes? That's why we started here, because I know that you go back and you get the grills. Which ones have you bought recently since I've been at the house? Those, for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think I had these. I had those. Okay. I have those. So have you're these. always adding. Always adding to the... Maybe these, these. For okay. Sure, these yeah, a lot of Louis yeah, you've been these, wearing. These. When we were like at home, were you like going online? Were you, you weren't pulling up the stores? How were you getting them? It's online, man. Online. Yeah. Every day. And what was it like eBay or what? Um, Goat. Okay. Yeah, I use Goat. I use I used to use StockX, but they 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 take too long. So like Goat. Right Shipping's the, you know quicker. Yeah. We talked about it in the past, but how do you feel about dunks coming back? I saw even a picture, you had the undefeated dunks on with mm. like the Hawaii's in the background. Mm. Are those dunks that you had back in the day that you brought Some out? Some of them. So okay. there was a store, not Sport, it was a Sporty LA. So like back in high school, I used to like take the bus up here okay. to Melrose and I'd get kicks from Sporty LA. Yeah. And there was another store, um, I forgot what it was called, but it was like a smaller boutique. That um, I used to get like all the SBs and stuff. Okay, like but, a I mean, skate shop. Have... Yeah, it was kind of like a skate shop a little bit. Okay, Sporty LA classic store. Yeah, yeah, they always had like all the crazy shoes. One thing I think that gives you an advantage is like you were an internet sneaker kid in terms of like Nike Talk we talked about. So like you, yeah. you know how to maneuver. No, I used to be on Nike Talk when I was like probably like 12 years old, yeah. 11 years old. Yeah, I was on it. I found a picture, Yeezy Twos. You used to go to the gym in the Easy Twos. Do you remember going? There's a picture of me in the gym. Were you working out in those? Yeah, that I was. A lot? I was. They was co they comfortable. <laughs> they was super comfortable. So you like would just go. That yeah. was like a gym shoe for you. Shit, gym, just out. But I think I already kind of like wore them out, so I started wearing them in the gym. Oh, so you waited until yeah, they were yeah, beat. Yeah, until they were a little worn out. Tiger, when we did the closet, you said you love white on white Air Force Ones, but it's tough because you only get three or four wears out of them. But have you seen recently, like, there's a trend of people wearing dirty white Air Force Ones? Have you seen that all over? It's crazy. <laughs> what do you think about that? I just think that's, you know, that's just the style of, like, younger kids. You know, mm -hmm. they, don't really, they don't really care to keep them, like, fresh and, like, not creasing and stuff. I can't. I, I, like, I have to have them, like, fresh, you know? Different era. Yeah. I want to talk early Reebok deal. Mm. I was like looking through things like you had a magazine cover with Rick Ross and like Iverson mm. and talk about like those days and how special it was. Your sneaker was moving units. Yeah, it was the, it was the highest selling shoe at Reebok at, at the time. Like, wow. I think since like the Iverson that somebody that had their own shoe kind of. Yeah. It, it was it was good, man, because it was like at the time I, ha I was really pushing uh, my last King's clothing line, mm -hmm. which was doing really good. So it just fit. I felt like it fit with that, you know what I'm saying? The yeah. fans and stuff, it was like affordable, you know? You've had many sneaker deals. We'll get to the new sneaker in the next mm. section, but what do you think's the best and worst thing about having the deal? I think the best thing is having it attached to you and the worst thing is having it attached to you. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it can go either or, you know? For people that might not be a fan of you, but like the shoe, you know, they, they can discover you like that. Or there are people that are a fan of you you know, that mm -hmm. like the shorts, so it, it depends, you know? Interesting. Not the exclusivity, like, did you ever mind only having to wear Reeboks, or you were cool with it, like? Oh, I, I used to get emails all day. Really? Like, I remember I did Summer Jam. It was like when Kanye was, like, making Heavy. it crazy hot, and I had, like, the same hoodie he had. Okay. I, like, overpaid for it. Okay. It was like the paisy, it was like bandana, crazy okay. print. It was like blue, but he had just wore it, Okay. Right? It was Summer Jam, and it was my first Summer Jam performing. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, you have to make sure you have the Reeboks. I had them in the dress room, and I was like, all right, cool, cool, cool. Five minutes before I went on stage, I switched them out with the wow. Jordans on. And all the pictures online was like, I had the whole fit on yeah. with the Jordans. They were pissed. But I was like, bro, like, I just, I can't not, not wear Jordans. The you fit, know what I'm saying? Yeah. The Monday yeah. morning email after Sunday Summer Jam. Yeah, like, was, what happened here? They was, they was pissed, but we figured it out.
Tyga, today, this morning, as this airs, you're releasing the shoe with Mischief. Yep. Talk yep. about that project, how to come about. Man, it took like nine months. Okay. It was like eight, nine different tries. Cause it was like, how do you make the shoe not too big, mm -hmm. but how do you make it wavy and, and able to walk straight and functional? So that took like eight. Well, I think this was like the ninth try. Okay, so you may, had to make sure it was functional because it's it's like yeah. there's rivets in it. Yeah, for sure. They had to test some people out skating in them and like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so they went through a full wear test. Yeah, there's like a, um, a disclaimer on the bottom though. So as soon as you, you know, like if you hurt yourself, like as soon as you take the tape off. You know? Okay. What do you think about that brand though? They're kind of like disruptors, even like the little Nas X shoe. Mm -hmm. Were you a fan of the brand? And I, that's I why like, I like, I just feel like they go against the grain and I wanted to do something with them, you mm -hmm. know? So when I uh, first, first reached out to them, I was like, yo, I like what you guys do. Cause they're like really like RC too. And they do other stuff outside of shoes. They mm -hmm. just do cool little side projects with different people. So I wanted to do something with them. And this just happened to be like, the right thing to do, I felt like, you know? And obviously it's like your love of Vans and Chucks, but like you want to incorporate kind of like the Vans look, the Cali look, is that fair right. to say? I mean, yeah, it's, a, it's like being from LA, you know what I'm saying? Those are my t top two favorite shoes. Mm -hmm. Like it's more of a West Coast shoe, you know what I mean? Like to where you said like a phone posit or other shoes like that are a little more heavier. That's yeah. really not like West Coast, you know? Definitely. I want to talk vape. I know that you love vape. I even think that little peek behind the curtain, there was a complex interview today and they asked like, what is like one of your favorite brands of all time? Yeah. Vape, still up there. Yeah, man, it's just you, it, like, especially when I was young, mm -hmm. like, it was, vape was just, I, you had to get it, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's still one of my favorite brands just for what they did and like how iconic they made it, like of my like childhood, you know? And there's one shoe I know that you have the Pharrell Roadster that like you can't find anywhere. Yeah. Like, and you you have it. Did you go back and get that one because like you no, can't find it? I've had that for a minute. Okay. I don't wear them though because like if I do, the sole will start coming off. Yeah. That's how long I've had them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. some of those baits that I have, like I just I don't wear them because like I don't want to crack them or like you know. Definitely. They're like super old. Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part: browse the shelves, see where you're gonna take home. They got any golf shoes in here or what? G Dragons? These guys? I don't think you can golf in these. You golfing now? Yeah. I'm, you see I'm, the Jordan, Jordan and Eastside Golf? I got all the Jordan golf shoes. Okay. Yeah, I got, but I got some Adidas golf shoes that are good, but these are kind of flat. All right. I, I feel like you'll slip in these. Yeah, not these really. Are yeah. These G Dragon shoes? Yeah. Yeah, these are fire though. All right, maybe we'll search for some golf shoes. Yeah, let's see what they got. Let's do it. What's going on, man? How's it going? Thanks for coming by. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I want to get these right here, but I need kid sizes. Kid sizes? Yeah, I feel like people always shop for themselves, like, you know? Hell yeah. If you got like a five and a half. Five and a half in those? Kid, yeah, kids and these. Oh, Mom's. these right here. The Hollands? Yeah. I got you. Oh, yeah, the fragment. Yeah, Fragments? These. Gotta do those. Perfect. So you got those. So yeah, now I'm gonna get a couple pair for myself. Let me get these Diplo Croc now I'm playing. <laughs> Let me get these right here. The golf these, shoes? Yeah. I wanna see if you can really golf in them. So you grabbed a lot, huh? Yeah, I grabbed a couple more when we all wasn't looking, man. Awesome, huh? That's what happened. Total is $2,053 with 13 cents. Damn, for some kid shoes? Yes, sir. <laughs> There you go. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Let me get All this right. bag up for you. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Tiger came through, got some shoes for the kids. Thanks so much for taking the time. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure you go get those wavy babies on the Mischief app right now.